Here at AQHA, the Member Experience Team is dedicated to serving members by recording and preserving the pedigree of the American Quarter Horse, while maintaining the integrity of the breed. AQHA functions as the official record-keeping and governing body of the American Quarter Horse industry. To enhance the AQHA member experience, the association provides educational resources, which guide the proper completion of forms and services. This guide is created for you, our member, to walk you through the proper completion of the AQHA registration application to help prevent common mistakes and support efficient processing with minimal delay. We will begin by discussing key factors that are related to all paperwork submitted to AQHA, which include fees and shipping. First, we will discuss payment. All work must be paid for in full before it can be processed by an AQHA member experience professional. Confirming that you have all the necessary information and payment for your transaction guarantees a quicker turnaround for your AQHA business. We have several options available to submit payment. These options include payment by credit card, PayPal, bank wire transfer, or certified check or money order in U.S. funds drawn from a U.S. bank. The fastest way for work to be completed is to remit payment with your form submission. For amounts that are owed after the work has been submitted, members have the following options. 1. Review invoices and pay an invoice online by logging into your AQHA account at www.aqha.com. 2. Contact the Member Experience Department at 806-376-4811. Select the option for billing to remit your payment with your Visa, MasterCard, or American Express. 3. Ship a certified check or money order in U.S. funds drawn from a U.S. bank to American Quarter Horse Association, P.O. Box 200, Amarillo, Texas, 79168. 4. Send a bank wire transfer or PayPal transfer. Additional instructions are provided if requested by emailing finance at aqha.org. As international mail has proven to be unreliable, AQHA recommends shipping work to the association by a delivery service such as FedEx, DHL, or UPS to ensure its arrival. For work that doesn't require a physical certificate to accompany it, it can also be sent by fax, email, or completed through an AQHA online account. The mailing address, registration email address, and fax number are the following. Mail. AQHA, P.O. Box 200, Amarillo, Texas, 79168. For overnight deliveries, American Quarter Horse Association, 1600 Quarter Horse Drive, Amarillo, Texas, 79104. Email, registration at aqha.org. Fax, 806-349-6411. AQHA has adapted the shipping options to help you make the best decision about how you would like your finished certificate of registration to be handled. These FedEx shipping options include Overnight U.S., Overnight International, and Overnight U.S. two-day service. Please note the FedEx shipping fees are separate from the special handling fee. If you need a certificate mailed to an alternate address, include a signed statement for the request by the owner or authorized agent designating where to mail the certificate of registration. Remember that a current membership is required to submit a registration application to AQHA. In addition to a current membership, it is important to make sure that AQHA has your most up-to-date contact information. Updating your contact information allows AQHA to properly serve as your needs. We understand your time is valuable, and by verifying your contact information, including your email address, AQHA representatives can more efficiently contact you regarding pending work. Everyone loves American Quarter Horse foals, but it takes a lot more than a sire and dam to get a full registration in the works. 
One of our most frequently asked questions by AQHA members is, how do I register my FOAL? There are three ways to submit an AQHA registration application for a FOAL or aged horse. In order of the speediest processing, it goes, one, online registration, two, email scanned registration application, three, and lastly, mail registration application. Pre-printed registration application. Every year, AQHA mails out a pre-printed registration application, also called the Breeder's Certificate, to every stallion owner who files a stallion breeding report. This application will contain pertinent information, such as the sire and dam's information, mare and stallion owner's name and address, and the breeding dates. It is up to you, the proud owner of a new foal, to fill in the rest. Download Blank Registration Application if you do not have a pre-printed application, AQHA has a blank registration application available for download. This is the same form, but you must fill in all the information that would already be filled in on the pre-printed version. If an AQHA full registration is not something you do every day, it can be a little confusing. And there are a lot of scenarios that can come into play when registering your foal. Not all registrations are the same, and depending on several factors, there are some additional things you may need to do. Before you begin, you need to ask yourself a few questions. Is my full name choice available? Does my full need to be parentage verified, HYPP tested, or do I want to have the entire five panel genetic test done? Do I have the proper markings or photos of the full? Do I have all the signatures I need to get my full registered? Have I marked the color and gender of the foal? Requirements for registering an American Quarter Horse are based on a few variables, which include the breeding method, genetic testing, properly recorded ownership, and breeding certificate signatures. We will cover each of these variables. Now let's learn the steps to registering a foal. Step 1 is picking out a name for your American Quarter Horse. To ensure the name is available, log into your account on www.aqha.com and search under Research Foal Names. Step 2 is to determine the color of your horse. If you need assistance with determining the horse's color, AQHA color specialists can determine the appropriate color based on pictures and the pedigree. Indicate the gender of your foal in Step 3. Don't forget to add the date your horse was born in Step 4. For step 5, you will need to add the state fold or country fold. To register a foal, both parents must be registered with AQHA. Step 5 also requires you to add the sire and dam's registered name, registration number, and registered owner at the time of breeding. Step 6 requires the owner of the dam at time of foaling's signature. If there was a change of ownership with a dam or foal, be sure that the proper signature is obtained and that a transfer report accompanies the registration application if necessary. If you are the owner of dam at time of breeding and foaling and correctly sign box 7 and or 8, the breeder certificate, but fail to sign box 6, the signature on the breeder certificate may be used to satisfy the signature requirements for box 6. Next is the breeder certificate section. Step 7 requires the owner of the sire at time of breeding's signature, and Step 8 requires the owner of the dam at time of breeding's signature. A stallion breeding report must be on file to complete the registration. For the breeding exposure dates, list the month, day, and breeding year. If the application is pre-printed, the exposure dates and sire and dam's information will already be listed. If applicable, Step 9 requires you to select genetic testing. DNA typing is required if your horse is a stallion that is breeding mares, your horse is a mare that is being bred and was foaled in 1989 or later. Parentage verification is required if your horse's sire or dam was under the age of 2 at the time a foal was conceived, your horse was the result of embryo or oocyte transfer, your horse was conceived by frozen semen or cooled semen that was transported. 
Your horse is more than 48 months of age at the time the application for registration is received by AQHA. Your horse's dam was exposed to more than one stallion within a 30-day time period. Your horse has excessive white markings as specified in Rule REG 109.8. Your horse is foaled after January 1, 2007 and is a descendant of the Stallion Impressive 0767246. See Rule REG 109.3.3. Your horse is going to be raced. Your weanling is going to be entered into an AQHA World Championship show. The AQHA Executive Committee deems parentage verification is necessary. Genetic testing points to know. Genetic testing only needs to be performed once in a horse's lifetime. A horse cannot be parentage verified if his sire and dam are not both DNA typed. AQHA automatically parentage verifies horses that are eligible and reprints the certificate of registration once parentage verification is complete. Five panel genetic disease test. AQHA offers a genetic disease test that checks your horse for five genetic diseases. Hyperkalemic periodic paralysis, HYPP, polysaccharide storage myopathy, hereditary equine regional dermal asthenia, malignant hyperthemia, and glycogen branching enzyme deficiency. Depending on your horse's pedigree, AQHA may require you to purchase an HYPP test. For step 10, be sure that you select the correct fees based off the age of the foal. The registration fee is based on the foaling date and date the application is received in office. If you wish to race your horse, step 11 is required to participate in the racing challenge. The nominator must be the current owner of the foal. Last but not least, Steps 12 and 13 include the markings diagram and related descriptions, such as all scars, brands, microchips, or unusual markings. If your horse has markings and you do not draw markings within the diagram, you are required to send photos. Now that we understand the steps within the registration application, let's learn about embryo enrollments. An embryo transfer enrollment form is needed every year a mare has an embryo or embryos flushed for breeding. You can choose to enroll the mare every year the mare is flushed for embryos, or you can simply enroll the mare for her lifetime. Be cautious of the penalties related to an embryo transfer. Any mare enrolled will need to be DNA typed prior to the enrollment to facilitate the registration of their foals. Once a mare is embryo enrolled, any resulting foals produced will require parentage verification, regardless of the breeding method. Once an enrollment is completed, it is not transferable or refundable. Only one enrollment per year is required, regardless of the number of embryos that are transferred. 2. AQHA membership must be current in order to process all work, including the owner of the dam at time of foaling. 3. Registration leases should be submitted prior to breeding. 4. 4. Mares should be enrolled into the embryo transfer program prior to breeding. 5. Transfer of ownership can be submitted for registered and unregistered foals. The new buyer must be a current member or pay non-member fees. A. If the foal has changed ownership, a transfer report can be submitted with the registration application. If you have a quick question or are looking for answers to frequently asked questions, the online AQHA Help Center gets users quick assistance. If you can't find the answer you're looking for, use the Contact Us page on www.aqha.com for assistance by phone or email. Remember to stay updated on the progress of your paperwork and be sure we have the most up-to-date contact information for you, especially email. AQHA's role in preserving the integrity of the breed is expanding on a daily basis. Whether American Quarter Horses are still being used in traditional ranching operations for showing, racing, or pleasure, AQHA strives to provide services beneficial to all association members and ultimately the American Quarter Horse. AQHA Help Center 
https colon forward slash forward slash healthcenter.aqha.com forward slash knowledge. Contact us page. https colon forward slash forward slash www.aqha.com forward slash contact hyphen info. Primary Contact International Department. International at aqha.org. Secondary Contact Department Emails. Stallion Breeding Reports, SBR at aqha.org. Thoroughbred Recording, Thoroughbreds at aqha.org. Genetic Tests, Genetic Test at aqha.org. Registrations, Registration at aqha.org. Transfers, Transfer at aqha.org. Duplicates and Corrections, DUPCORR at aqha.org. Web Navigation, Billing, and Records, General Info at aqha.org. By Phone, Member Experience, 806 376 4811. Monday to Friday from 8 to 5 Central Standard Time.